why today I have many things to do. I have to download this, download that. Oh, why am I talking to myself? What should I do? Come on, please, please. Something why serious must be wrong. Time? Every time when I have something important to do, this happens. Oh my god. What should I do? My internet speed is supposed to be 100 megabit per second down and 10 megabit per second up. I'm on my laptop which is connected to my Wi-Fi and I'm just downloading some stuff but the speed is just ridiculously slow when I do a speed test this is the results I get it's not fair I'm paying so much money for this internet and this is what I get so I guess I should just pick up the phone and call the ISP and blame them for the problem, right? Nah, I don't think so. Cause first of all, I'll be like an hour on the phone before I can talk to a real person. And besides, this doesn't feel like a very professional approach either. Hmm, maybe I should just send them an email. No, I don't think contacting the ISP is a good idea right now. Because first of all, they're gonna tell me that they tested everything on their side and everything looks okay. And then they're gonna suggest that I should connect my computer directly with an internet cable to the modem and then do the speed test. Which kind of makes sense, so I might as well go ahead and try that myself before contacting them. Okay, so I disconnected my wireless router from the modem and connected my laptop instead. So let's run a speed test again. Wow, the speed is okay now. I'm glad I didn't call the ISP. This actually tells me the problem is neither the ISP nor the modem. Okay, so now I'm gonna disconnect my computer from the modem and connect back the wireless router again. Then I'm gonna connect the computer to one of the LAN interfaces of the wireless router and run the speed test again. This one is okay too, so I guess I'm making progress here. So far I know the problem is not the ISP, it's not the modem, it's not even the wired network. So it should be the wireless network. <laughs> okay, so my wireless router is dual band. That means it supports 2.4 GHz radio and also 5 GHz radio. And it looks like right now I'm connected to the 2.4 GHz network. 2.4 GHz band is older than 5 GHz and is rather more crowded. There are many devices that operate in this band. Even non-Wi-Fi devices such as microwave ovens, cordless phones, Bluetooth and many more. So let's say I'm setting up a 2.4 GHz network on my wireless router. In the United States there are 11 channels to choose from but only three of them are not overlapping with each other. So let's say if my neighbor is already using channel 1. If I choose channel 1 through 5, there is going to be some kind of interference with the neighbor's Wi-Fi which is going to affect the performance. So if I want to avoid that, I should select channel 6. But unfortunately today, the 2.4 GHz radio is so crowded and busy that it's almost impossible to find a clear channel. Okay, so I'm going to connect to the 5 GHz network which is less crowded and has many more channels available and see what happens. Wow, immediately I can see a big difference between 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz, well at least in my area. This is still very much less than the advertised speed on my wireless router. It is claiming to do 300 megabit per second on the 5 GHz radio only. But my laptop is only capable of doing 150 megabit per second. So I should consider that as my maximum throughput. But it doesn't matter, I'm not even close to that number. I'm not even that far from the wireless router and there is no major obstacle in between. What exactly is going on? Am I missing something? Of course I am! First of all, the maximum advertised throughput is only theoretical. Wireless is half duplex, that means it cannot send and receive at the same time. And because of that and also the typical wireless overhead, 
the actual throughput is gonna be 50% or less than the advertised throughput. So based on what I just said, I should expect something around 75 megabit per second or maybe a little bit less when I do the speed test on my laptop. But I don't. And that brings us to another point. Wireless is a shared medium. That means if there are multiple devices connected to the same network, the available throughput is gonna be shared between all of them. There were seven other devices connected to the same network, so I just disconnected all of them. Now let's run the test again. Finally, this is an acceptable speed for this laptop based on its maximum throughput. Unfortunately, it's very hard to predict the wireless speed because there are many factors involved that can easily affect the performance and the quality of the wireless network. At least next time that I have a similar problem, instead of just talking to myself and embarrassing myself in front of billions of people, I know where to start.